All right, here we are. Another episode, Basic Bogies Podcast. Doing a little uh, U.S. Open wrap-up here this week. Yeah, man. Um, let's start, I guess let's start with the course. Let's start yeah. there. Because that, that was wild. That was wild. Um, I think it was, obviously, the Golf Channel or whoever it was when they were like talking about how fast the greens and the slopes were. Favorite clip from the whole weekend was, I, I forget what analyst it was, but drops the ball, like, four feet right of the hole, right? Ball mm-hmm. sticks and kind of rolls, like, maybe a couple inches. He moves two inches farther than that, drops it, and it rolls 70 feet off the green to a bunker. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. And the pin placements were not even, even on, like, the first, second day. Those weren't forgiving. No. That's wild. Yeah, I think day two might have been, like, the hardest pin placements of the week mm-hmm. for uh, most of those holes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, it was just getting the ball to those little wedges. And sometimes there's a lot of the holes you just couldn't even go at the flag. No. no. There was no shot. Yeah. There if was you, one. If you kept it on the green, it was good. Yeah, there was one hole coming in, too, where I remember Cantley and Rory put the ball within feet of each other. And they took that same little line running down and off. Cantley's ended up in the bunker. And then Rory's took like another little kick and went back even further. 15 or 16 in the last round there? Something like that. One of those late The last few holes. But it was like, wow, he's going to end up in the bunker as well. And then Rory was like another 10 yards behind him in that like weird waste area space. Yeah. Just nuts. I I think that even that kind of adds to how impressive uh, Bryson's up and down was there at the end. Yeah, he was so hesitant standing over that little punch shot with the root. And I mean, did you watch that whole thing? I mean, I was watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great because and he was trying to like you could watch him when he was like picking up his hands in the back. He's like, nope, can't go there because I'm hitting the branch. Nope, nope. And then he was like basically straight up and down. I thought for sure that was going to get him just because I know how much of a mental head case he is. I was like, this is this is going to get in his head being a little hunched over and everything like that. And that was the right before he hit it. It looked like he was ready to go, and then you could tell him he was even. He literally said like, "I'm not comfortable with this," or yeah. something like that. And yep. the caddy walked up, and then he was like, "No, no, I, I got it." Right. And then, I mean, obviously, he knew he wasn't going to put it on the green. Everybody was thinking in that bunker is dead. It's dead. Like, you can't hit it close enough to make the par. Right. Um, the fact that he even got out as far as he did though was even, like, there's so many things that could have yeah. gone wrong. Could, just could have gone way, way wrong. And that's where it's like, it was already a difficult shot, but then because the way that he has his club set up with them all being the same lengths too, yeah. that club was so much longer. So he was choked so far down it mm-hmm. because they're already longer than they should be. Right. He's using a pool noodle as a... Yeah. As a, as a uh, but to pull that off, handle. and then, I mean, the bunker shot was incredible. Did a 55-yard bunker shot carrying... Like, right where he needed to, <laughs> to to then have the only difference. I mean, literally the same diff, same distance as Rory, but he having that uphill putt versus the downhill mm-hmm. putt. Yep. I yeah. even you know it's funny, Rory before Rory before that shot this season on three putt or three feet or less putts, four ninety six for four ninety six. Yeah. And I even said I was texting a bunch of my fantasy football group are all talking about it, and I go. They're like, Rory makes this, right? And I go, I got a feeling he's going to miss it. And I, the second he hit it and he stepped off, I was like, uh oh. Yeah. You could tell he was so, like, after missing the one on 16, that the one was on short, 16 was, yeah. You, like, if he, if he makes that, he makes the one on 18 because he doesn't have that easy little, you know, just I'll second go, guessing it. I'll go a step further. I think if Rory makes that on 16, he doesn't hit driver off of 18. And I don't think Bryson does either. Yeah. That was crazy watching those, like, the last three guys, him, uh, Rory, DeChambeau, and Pavon. Pavon, All all three of them going driver almost in the identical area, like, into the dead shit. I mean, I, at that point, aren't we just, you just place it. Yeah, yeah. And again, I'm not a goal. Well, (laughs) yeah, it's a short hole. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, he just second-guessed that, and, I mean, it's just a little bit more pace and it just falls and it's mm-hmm. a whole different story. Yeah. But. Yeah. Wild. I mean, Bryson did it again. What? Second, second, uh, second championship there. U S open. Yeah. yeah. Cause he won the, he won back at winged foot in 2020. Yep. 
Yep. And I know how big of a, a, a pain guy that he was growing up and stuff, yeah. too. So for him to win there and get the up and down on 18 was, like, pretty yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah, it was the 25th anniversary mm -hmm. of Payne's win there. That was the same pin placement, no? I think that's what they yeah, said, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what they did, yeah. And Payne was in, like, a similar situation where he was, like, scrambling to make par out of the yeah, way. Yeah, he here. had, like, a off-the-fringe putt yeah, to yeah. make that. That was I remember seeing that clip a bunch. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought overall, I mean, there was a lot of people that could have had a chance to win it. We were just talking before we started recording. I mean, Tony Finau, had a, he was having a really, really hot round and then took that triple and then just kind of took the sales right out of him. But yeah. bounced back, third place, ain't bad. You know, still going to be a... Still gonna be a fine paycheck. There. Yeah, he's got a he's got to break through in the majors now. After Xander yep. did with the last, you know, he's another one of those guys that's right up there. Mm -hmm. um, Oberg played great. I mean, it, he had that seven wood there. That was insane. he hit on Saturday, but then after that, he I think it was thirteen. He tripled. Yeah, and then he had another triple, and I think a double on Sunday, mm. which I mean, it's a tough course, but he was. He ended up finishing one over, but it's like, man, he just... No, it's there. Two bad holes yep. are eliminated, and he's winning that thing. You know it's a nasty shot when your caddy looks at you and is like... Yeah. Just on. That's Ricky's <laughs> yeah. old caddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but just he, the <laughs> fact that he like, just... Yeah, go ahead and try this shot, and then he pulls it off, and yeah. on this course, he just looks back at his caddy and just... Ugh. That's the thing is, like, any other course, you get that, and it'll... You might stay on, but to get that to stay on, hitting yeah. it at that low trajectory mm -hmm. at Pinehurst was absolutely incredible. Insane. Insane. But, yeah, none of our picks really were up there too much. Mat Matsuyama was the closest. Um, yeah, all of our actual picks were way, well, way back. John Rahm was out because of terrible tan lines. That's yeah. why he was. That's why he hurt his ankle, so he was out. I went with <laughs> Hovland. Couldn't shot where I, I, I missed the first round and I looked at the score and I was like, Hovlin, why do I have to scroll so much? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's six over? Fucking sweet, dude. Yeah. Who did you have again? I Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, that's right. I he think... made the cut. I don't know where he ended up finishing, but he he never got under par. Yeah. I think he was, he played it smart. You know, he played it kind of safe, but he just was, yeah. you know, had to get aggressive in some spots. And I think Kepka he didn't play did well it. either. For no, Bud, so he was back. Sam Bennett, there, my little sleeper, was yeah. was up there for a while, and then he had a bad round. He shot seventy seven Saturday, and then mm -hmm. dropped back. But for his first, you know, major as a pro, right? Quite yep. a quite impressive. Neil Shipley, low amateur again after being low amateur. That at the first Masters. round was hot. Came out and he was like, yeah. he was there. Did you see that back and forth between him and the other amateur? I did. Yeah. So they yeah. the the chances of them getting grouped together on Sunday, which is just awesome. That it's like. It's all in tournament there, back and forth, right. and for him to win that out. I wanted to know because uh, they were, like, showing it, and the other guy missed the, I think it was a par putt that mm -hmm. would have tied, and I don't know, like, what what do they do? Is there a playoff for the low amateur? Like, he ended up missing it, so they didn't go over it. Like, they moved I would on to the I would assume thing. it's probably the same, like, the two-hole aggregate thing that they were, because that's what they were talking yeah, about yeah. for... You know, if Rory because it's, that I would think it'd be something because they still get that actual medal, and there's like exemptions in the future because of it. So, like, right. I would think it would have to be one person. Yeah, I would assume they probably do very similar playoff rules, but, but speculated. Yeah, Shipley pulled it off again. Mm -hmm. um, I've I've seen since then he's like really starting to do stuff on social media too, and and have that presence, which would be cool to see where he goes and uh, kind of getting up through the. The Corn Ferry. Oh, yeah. But speaking of the Corn Ferry, did you see who's playing on the Corn Ferry Tour this week? John Ferry, or John Ferry, John <laughs> Ferry Tour. Uh, John Daly the second. I yeah. did see that this morning. And uh, I saw uh, Papa Daly won't be there. But, yeah, that's going to be sick. Because, I mean, I remember I've only really been exposed to him through the, um, what, the PNC Yep, he's played that championship. a few times. They won it. They won it a couple times, couple I think. Times, yeah. Um, and then his clips on, or his videos with Good Good. Yeah. Or one with Garrett. And then he's playing with, like, some of his college teams at Arkansas, or teammates at Arkansas. But, yeah, I mean, the, the guy can play. I mean, it's yeah. not like, he's not like he's going to go out there and probably completely shit the bed. But who knows? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see where he's kind of playing. He's, what, like 22, 23 now? Yeah, he's, I think he, he had, would have had to graduate at college to get to the Corn Ferry. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and I think they change. I want to say it's like top 25 of the college rankings get invites to the Corn Ferry Tour now. I think oh. it used to be 10, but I think they expanded it. They're really trying to change how that all works. Sure. So less of these players get stuck down in Q school and they, they have more opportunity right off cool. the bat. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, daily part two, 2.0, just balling out. That'll be cool to watch. I'm excited. You get people in it. Yeah. Interesting. Harry Higgs will be back there. Play, still playing the Corn Ferry Tour. We talked about that a bit last episode. He's trying. He should be good to get back up to get his tour card, but mm-hmm. if he can just get one more win, he'll get that uh, yeah. auto promotion and yeah. might even see him here before the end of the year. And by here, we mean right here for basic bogeys. So we're yeah. sitting right in between us. Harry Higgs can come join us any day. Yep. Right here in Syracuse. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.